You're just gonna duck like that the whole time you ducky vlogs? <laughs> <laughs> Tiger oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is so awkward. Is that? What do you want to say? I want to say shit. What? <laughs> We're gonna be going around Atlanta. <laughs> She's making. What are you, you doing? You can't see what are you it. Doing? <laughs> I messed him up first. I was just trying to play with the shadow. Action. Alright, so today's video is going to be a little bit different than my usual vlogs. Uh, we will be going around Atlanta to try different boba places and rate them based off on the taste of the drink, the boba, and the value of the drink in terms of the price. I've seen many YouTube videos in regarding boba. I know Fee Mei Mei does ones in California and I saw one from Money San Eric in New York, but I didn't really see anything for Atlanta. And I also lived in Georgia for more than 14 years, but I don't really know what's around the places. Uh, so I just wanted to take this time to kind of explore uh, the area. So today we have a special guest, I I'm guess. The boba tour guide. Yeah, <laughs> I'm my friend Quinn. You've probably seen her in many of my vlogs, too many of my vlogs. Not by choice. <laughs> Not by choice, but she's here to help me out with this video. So... <laughs> Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we actually started this video later than we planned for. Right. We had like 30 minutes until sunset. So we decided to gather all the boba at the same time and then just sit down and try them all at once mm. instead of just going place by place. Yeah, um, we completely forgot that sun goes down sometime during the day. <laughs> what? So the first place that we went to is Quickly's. I know you have yes. a lot to say. Quickly's is the OG. So if you're, <laughs> so if you're from Gwinnett, visit GwinnettCounty.com. You know that this was like the only place that existed back in the days. When we were like high school. In high school. I actually haven't been back to this place since high school. The place looks the same, maybe different table. Actually, they have like minor upgrades in there. It, it it's cleaner. a bit brighter now. We also got some <laughs> food from Quickly's. But, I mean, like, like we mentioned, this was the first place that we went and the food is cold now. And let's just try that first. Yep, just let's go. Try this quickly first. No, you try it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just here as a tour guide. I'm not trying these. Tour guide. Back in the days when we didn't have a car in high school, like our parents would just drop us off here. And we would just hang out here the whole time. For the taste of the drink, I would say out of five, I would probably give two and a half but it's really bland there's no flavor to it and then the bubble I would also say I'll say two out of five am I being too harsh on the first one no no I think people will appreciate this honesty if they're looking for a bubble place to try yeah this is not it but quickly that's where all the memories are and we also grabbed some Crab Ragoons. I don't know if they're known for their Crab Ragoon, but... Is that a like new menu item? Oh, it's one of their new menu items. I just saw it on TikTok. It's trending, so I had a random craving for there's Crab There's no, there's no but cheese there's in there. no, like, <laughs> no cream cheese. There's it's nothing. just the egg roll wrapping. Can I have some chicken, though? Uh -huh. She was literally not letting me eat the chicken, because she said the first bite had to be on camera. Eat some nuggets while he's first. Can I have some too? I'm starving. Oh, no, you can't eat it yet, dude. Wow. It has to be your first bite. Alright, clap, clap. Uh, I can. Genuine reaction right here. Oh, this is the chicken. This is how chicken looks like. The moment I've been waiting for. I've been literally starving all day for this. It's cold. Flavor wise, it's good. It's like consistent. Yeah, the flavor is really good. I think if we ate it as soon as it came out, it would have been really good. I'm so disappointed in this crab ragoon. There's no filling in here. Like one piece, one tiny piece. The price for this entire thing was $15.87. This dude to drink was $3.99. The chicken was uh, $5.99, which I feel like it's definitely worth it. Portion is huge. Oh, the portion this is, is the oh my gosh. portion. It's and big. They fill it all the way up too. So this is $5.99, which is definitely worth, worth it. Worth it. Uh, crab ragoon was $4.99. It's not that much, it's not that good. So only thing I'll probably get from Quickly's if I ever do go back is probably just chicken nuggets. That's so mean. <laughs> it's so honesty. <laughs> Damn sponsoring me. <laughs> okay, Wait, everyone let's watch Dan chug this down. What? Let's go. <laughs> Next up we have Kung Fu Tea. I know Kung Fu Tea is like a chain, right? Yeah, it's a chain. 
So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with this. I think Kung Fu tea is like what started like a bubble tea. Thing. I think I think that's when like the craze started here right. in Atlanta when they opened their first location. Yeah, because before this, only place you could get bubble tea was like Quickly's or one of those like Korean bakeries, mm -hmm. which had like really really bad bubbles. Like it was like frozen bubbles. Yeah. So when the Kung Fu tea came out, like everyone was talking about it. We would just go after like school and stuff yeah. like that to just get the drinks. I never understood it. I like at this time I wasn't really a fan of bubble tea. Yeah. I just went because my friends would go after dinner or something like that. But that's what comfort tea is. I think they got really popular because it was um, made to order. Mm. Whereas like I think at quickly they just had like a tub oh. of, of uh, but they, they uh, like ready to uh, ready to drink like mm. they just scoop it out of. Yeah. Yeah. This is a kung fu tea, a kung fu milk tea. Which is just a very basic milk tea, I guess similar to the Quickly ones. Yeah, and I want to plug, we did not get snacks, but Kung Fu Tea also has really good snacks. Yeah, I was actually seeing that when I was picking it up, because because the sun was going down, we just did all mobile order, uh, oh, mobile order, mobile order after Quickly's. Didn't really have time to see what they had for snacks, um, but at least we have chicken. She denies Quickly, but she's <laughs> denying Kung Fu. <laughs> Did you get the bubble? No. The bubble. What bubble did you get? Kung Fu milk tea? You got coffee popping, bro. <laughs> What's a coffee popping? This is not tapioca. <laughs> what is that? Just try it. It pops in your mouth. <laughs> I'm just scared. <laughs> you done fucked up. What the? He ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> You not order boba, he ordered coffee popping. I thought they already had it in there. No, they didn't dude. have it as an option. How did they not have boba as an option? <laughs> I don't know. Taste in general, it's very comparable to Quickly's. And for this review, I'm not trying to compare places to places. Because I know they have like millions yeah, of drinks yeah. that you see the menu. Both of them being no tea, I would very much prefer Kung Fu. Mm. Um, I think the texture is is a bit different too. Texture of the drink. Yeah, like I, drink, I drink think. Drink texture. Okay, as in like <laughs> this. I think Quickly's is like is thicker. It's like a thicker taste. Is it? Yeah. I think Quickly's, they probably use powder. Like they probably yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. But this Kung one. Too. <laughs> maybe higher quality They're powder. They're all powder. <laughs> higher quality powder. We can't give a rating for the bubbles because it's not a bubble. It's a popping thing that has a coffee inside. But for a drink, I would give solid three and a half. Three and a half? Three and a half. I don't want to be like, oh, this is amazing. This is not amazing. No, I think it, it used to be really good when they first opened up. Mm. Um, for the value, I think it was $5.80. Is that expensive? Wait, how much is it? $5.80. For what? Yeah. yeah. All right, for the value, I'll mm. give it three. It's very average. Yeah. yeah, I think the one. average cost for boba in this area is like almost five dollars. Mm -hmm. All right, next one is Yifeng. This is like the latest place that I've, I went because of her. This is one of my favorite places. She's always yeah. there. Can you tell me more about like this place? I, I don't know too much about this yeah. place. Yeah, actually, Yifeng is really popular in the Bay Area. There's a location in Berkeley, and there's the line is like always out the door. Whereas here. Um, I don't think a lot of people know about this place. It's rarely crowded. Mm. Except it, for today, actually. Has it been there for a while? It's been here since last year. Oh, okay, so it's pretty new. Uh, Yifeng, personally, I'm biased because I... Is your favorite? Yeah, just because I like fruit teas mm. for the taste of the drink. Uh, I give it a 4.5 because they're not as consistent. Mm. And I Out of five? Yeah. That's uh, pretty high. 4.5. I'm being biased though. Wait, let me try that. Yeah. <laughs> let me try that. How about the value though? I don't know how much the this value. Was. Actually, Yifeng is a bit more expensive than other places. It was actually five seventy five, which is cheaper than Kung Fu Tea. Oh really? Five cents cheaper than Kung Fu Tea. And you get a lot more out of this too, with all the fruits. Right. I mean, you can like look at compare, the size. Yes. Compare the size. This is healthier for you. Get all your fruits. <laughs> Definitely has 
much, much more flavor. They also have other milk tea there, but it's not as popular. And yeah, they're really known for their fruit teas. I would honestly give this 4.52 for taste. This is actually a really good fruit tea. This is my first time trying this actually. They also have brown sugar boba. Mm. With the Berkeley location, I remember it was like, um, they were like making fresh uh, boba. But for this location, um, I would stick with the fruit tea. <laughs> Ding tea is one place that actually made me like boba, but just because it's, it's not every drink in Ding tea. I literally only tried this one, I think. And this is called Monster Latte Cheese. Oh, there's like a hack to this place. What? You can order any drink and then you just ask them to add like um, the sea foam on top. Sea foam? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's a sea foam? Whatever this is here. It's like the white, the, the white foam. All right, this is literally my favorite drink. Um, I'm gonna be biased on this one. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's on point. I can already tell that it's so sweet. It's not It's not that sweet. I think cheese foam kind of balances out the sugariness. Cause like, cheese foam is not sweet by itself. It's a little bit, ha has like the saltiness of it too. So it's it has like a and sweet. perfect balance. The bubble is on point. Like this is chewy bubble, like right sized bubble. And it actually has some sort of flavor, like sweetened flavor. So what would you rate it? I would definitely give this 4.8. 4.8 out of 5? 4.8? I don't know, 5 out of 5 just seems like it's like, this is amazing. But if I had to get bubble tea, I would get this. We got the last one. Everyone knows this place. Tiger Sugar. I think it started... Did it start in New York or was it like Taiwan? Whatever. It's probably Taiwan. But I know in US, I think New York was the first place to have it. I know everyone used to talk about this place. She said when it first opened last spring, the wait was like yeah, two, hours, two hours. And she actually waited that. And she doesn't even like Tiger Shirt. This is just a, um, I can't, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's the signature black sugar with cream mousse. Okay, so it's, it's number one. This was 6.30, which is the most expensive drink that we got. Uh, but I do love Tiger Sugar. I love anything sweet, so. But I do think Tiger Sugar has the best boba. Yeah. In terms of texture and the flavor. It has similar flavor as like Ding Tea. But where Ding Tea is like, you have to kind of chew. It's like a gum. Like, mm. But this it's one, soft like, yeah, it's, it's very soft. It's, it's soft, but still chewy. Mm. I think the first sip is the best, and then I'm done after that. It's too sweet for me. It's actually pretty good. It's very comparable to Ding Tea. I think the major difference is this has m like more cheesy flavor kind of and texture which like is very like smooth in terms of drink. This is very like liquidy kind of. Mm -hmm. I want to say these two are probably like more consistent with their, their um, drinks too. Mm. I would honestly say this, are, this is pretty tight for me personally. Mm. I would say they're both 4.8. I wouldn't say 5.5. A 5 out of 5 just so that maybe one day if I have like the perfect boba. I would save it for that. What's your, what's your number one drink out of all five? I would definitely say Ding Tea, but it's biased. It's like the first place that I would go out of my way to get it. Mm -hmm. But before that, like I would never like, oh, I crave boba, I gotta get boba and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. What would be the worst on this list? You already know. You already know. Why do you I even don't ask? know. <laughs> Why do you even ask? This dude do two, three ninety nine quick please. But I mean, no hates to them. Hey, hey, no hate. They started all of this. Literally, so. they provided a place for us to hang yeah, out. They when walk ever... when everyone else, so everyone else could run. Yes, yes. <laughs> this was very rushed because just because we don't have time. All right, just because all right, I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, cut. Okay, I'm gonna do Hope the... you guys enjoy the video. Bye bye. Subscribe, <laughs> comment, like, leave any questions in the comments below. And actually, <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, next one's gonna be better. <laughs>